cute. You want to come say hi? Hi. Come over here with mama. Cheese. Say hey, cuties. Hey, cuties. <laughs> mommy? Yes, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi. Hi, mommy. <laughs> yes, that's mommy. <laughs>
fail. Either they don't come up either nowhere near my butt or they fit awful. These are a hit. I'm gonna actually go back on the website and see if they have them in other colors because I am in love with it. I love the over embellished distressing. I love the distressing fringe on the side. Very, very cute. The fringe does tangle up a bit easily. So just keep that in mind when you're wearing them. Next time I actually wear them outside because I wore these for Valentine's Day. So next time I actually wear them outside, I am going to have to kind of pull apart the fringe a bit. But you can't really tell unless you are actually wearing them yourself. I love how at the bottom it has that square cut out so you get a clear visual of my foot tattoo as well as whatever shoe I'm wearing. This is the perfect cut out for like a strappy sandal. I love it. When we come to the side, we see that we have pockets on the side in the front. They're not deep pockets. I wouldn't advise using them at all. And these pants are super high waist, like well over the belly button high waist. They do a good job of sucking in the fupa. And I just love it. My size silhouette, she's killing. These pants got the booty looking big, y'all. Like big, big. She's sitting. Honey, is she sitting or is she sitting? She's sitting, period. The top, the bodysuit is completely covered. So you don't have to worry about any rolls or love handles or anything spilling out like that. I have on my Savage Fenty push-up bra with this because I feel like when you go for a look like this, you want to kind of have on a really nice bra in case it's visible through the mesh. I love the silhouette. Again, she's giving. This is definitely a sleigh. And again, I paired it with some shoes that's going to be coming up in the haul. So I'm not going to give no details on the shoes. Y'all got to wait uh, for that. But just know this haul is going to be lit. This next shoe haul that's coming up and my matching fedora let me know what you guys think of the look i think it's cute i think it paired off really well and i am impressed with the fit of these jeans i'm in love with them i feel like rainbow is going back to whatever old school um maker they used to or manufacturer they used to go to back in the day when i was in high school and i used to get my jeans from rainbow shops and they used to stretch this good and have me looking this good I feel like they're going back to that company, and I'm pleased and here for it. Okay, Couture Cutie, so this next look we have is a two-piece skirt set. Now, the high-waist pleated skirt is so separate from the bodysuit, but each piece was like $12. I absolutely love this color. It's like a golden kind of color, like a soft gold. I'm really, really feeling it. I decided to pair this set with a all peanut butter look. So I have my peanut butter Chanel quilted bag, and then I have my torrid cropped leather jacket with these boots that I got from Fashion to Figure, these liquid peanut butter boots. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about the look all together, just because it's a lot of liquid and faux leather going on here. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do feel like the color match is well. Also, another thing that's throwing me a little bit with the skirt is that it's longer, of course, in the front than in the back because of my body type. But because it's of its length in the front, I almost feel like it's too long for the over-the-knee boots and that I should have probably paired it with a strappy sandal or with my slide-in clear peanut butter heels. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm going to take this jacket off so you all can get a good look at the two-piece set. So again, for reference, everything that I got is a size 3XL. Now let's talk about this bodysuit. What I love about the bodysuit is number one, the straps are adjustable, but also the lining where the chest should be is the right size. For once, a company got this part of the top correct. Now with that being said, the bodysuit itself is not long enough and I really need to try to play with the adjustable straps 
because maybe if I make the straps longer, it'll fit better. But as of right now, I don't have this bodysuit fastened up because it was just making me sweat trying to do all of that. The bodysuit, you can either step into it or you can pull it over your head. I stepped into it thinking that the clamps would stay closed and they didn't. But you all know my secret for that. I take some thread from when I have a bodysuit that can you can get into either direction. I like to take some thread and put a couple of stitches in the crotch because I know that I can get into it by stepping into it versus if stepping into it was the only way to get into it or if pulling it over your head was the only way to get into it. I wouldn't advise for you to do that. When we turn to the side, the silhouette, she looks nice. My arms are out. This is a sleeveless bodysuit, you guys, so keep that in mind. The back rows, though, are covered up really, really well. I'm really impressed by that. I love the fit of it as far as the way it's fitting now without it being snapped up. Um, it seemed like it'll be a, do a little pulling when it snaps, but I really think that that's because I need to adjust the straps and or the sleeves, the straps, whatever. And then once I do that, it'll be an altogether better fit. Now, when we come to the skirt, the skirt is also a size 3XL. You all may think this skirt looks familiar because it does. I actually have it in black and I bought the black one last year. So I already knew that this was gonna be a good fit, but it seems like they've made the skirt a bit longer. I do like it though. She's really cute. It's definitely a vibe definitely a look and definitely something that's going to be a part of my spring wardrobe let me know what you guys think about the entire look down below okay cutie so this next look is a crop top a faux leather we might as well call this the faux leather haul because everything with the exception of the first mm -hmm. outfit is definitely given faux leather vibes but this is the season for that so we have a crop top a faux leather crop top more like a corset style crop top and the straps are adjustable on here ignore the black straps from my bra i would not wear this bra i would wear the brown version of this bra with it and i likely wouldn't wear straps especially with these straps being adjustable rainbow again again did a really good job with the cup sizing on this top, I really feel like I could even wear this without a bra and still feel some form of security. It comes to a good length too, especially with this skirt being as high as it is. Now this is the chocolate version of the gold and the black skirt that I already showed you all in this haul and in a previous haul. So clearly I am feeling this just like I'm feeling these fedora hats. That's why you all keep seeing them. I paired it with my fedora hat, some chocolate uh, strappy sandals, and my chocolate LV crossbody. I think it's giving a really good look. Another thing that I like, when you turn to the back, you will see that there is a zipper here on the crop top. And I really like that because that's another detail that's giving it more of a corset style. The zipper is silver though, so just keep that in mind when you determine what type of jewelry you're going to wear. Because if you're going to have the zipper exposed, I would go with a colored jewelry that matches the zipper. Again, I love the look. I love the aesthetic, the news and the neutrals, the blacks, the blues. We are here for it. That's kind of been my color theme for this winter and spring season. And this is the perfect spring look. Again, everything is in a size 3XL. And I didn't mention, but... In the back of this crop top, there is stretch. So not only is the crop top a good fit, but it still has some leftover stretch for my girls whose backs are bigger than mine. Um, and I have a big back, so if your back is bigger, you'll still be able to get into this comfortably. 3XL is the larger size that this goes up to in the majority of the plus size clothes on Rainbow Shops goes up to a 3L. There's some bits and pieces that do go to a 4XL, but typically everything ranges from 1 to 3X on the plus size end. This is the next look from Rainbow, and we are here for it. I got one more look to show you guys, then we're done. Okay, cutie, so this is the last look in our Rainbow Shops winter spring plus size fashion 
haul and I'm here for it. Of course, I had to pair my chocolate with this pink, looking like chocolate dipped candy. I love it. I got my pink Dior bag and I got my pink strappy sandals on and I have on this two piece set. Now this is a set, but it is so separate. Rainbow has been doing that quite a bit now, selling the pieces separate. The good thing is, is that they're not expensive pieces even sold separately. So that's always a plus, especially if companies are gonna go that route. I love the top and I love the pants. They're a really, really good fit. The top has a zipper down the front and it has some boning in it, but the boning is a little flimsy, I'll be honest. The boning right here is already sticking out and so I had to tuck the shirt under in order to keep the boning from sticking out, poking me and also being visible in my pictures. But there's nothing that a little stitch or two can't fix to go ahead and remedy that. This top is extremely stretchy. Love that. The arms are out in this top, but that's okay because there is like a chunky strap here. It's not adjustable, but it's still very cute. It's definitely giving corset vibes. When you turn to the back, the entire back is covered up. My love handles down here by my butt are visible, but that's not a deal breaker for me. There are no pockets in the back on the pants, but that's cool because the booty, she looking real nice in these pants. There are pockets on the side and they're a nice length and a nice depth. I wouldn't advise putting anything major in these pockets, but they are cute just to say you have pockets. The pants, again, I love them. They're high waist. They're giving like a jogging pants style, but of course faux leather. So you have kind of an elastic band here, but there's a drawstring and guess what guys? The drawstring is a working drawstring. When you look at the bottom of the ankles, you see that there is a tapered leg that's perfect for a pointed toe or a strappy heel. This is just all together a really cute set. It's definitely giving, definitely slaying. And with the pink, it's definitely a vibe. That's it cuties. We have come to the end of this faux leather rainbow plus size fashion haul. I hope you all enjoyed every look. I hope you all like how I styled the look looks and I hope you all have been enjoying these last several videos since the new year where I've been not just trying on pieces but showing you guys how I will wear them. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all of my social media platforms. I'm Dr. Coco underscore curves on Instagram and TikTok and we going for what? A hundred K all the way. That's right you guys. I love you all so 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 much and like I always say Bring your mama, bring your sister, bring your auntie, bring your cousin, bring your gay uncle, baby. Hell, bring your baby. Because we got room. And there's always room for curves in Coco's Couture Closet. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys. Mwah. Bye.